Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Crop production improvement involves three major points. In this lesson, we are going to talk about the second one, which is irrigation. So, irrigation in India is majorly dependent upon monsoon. It means that the success of crops depends upon sufficient rainfall. It also means that if there is not sufficient rainfall or let's say less rainfall, the crop yield may get affected. But if we ensure to bring sufficient amount of water at the growing seasons, at the right stage of a plant, then we can increase the crop yields. And therefore, a number of measures are used to bring more and more area of agricultural land under irrigation. So simply we can define irrigation as supplying water to crop plants through human efforts by the means of canal, reservoir, wells, tube wells, etc. Now moving forward, let's have a look at the irrigation system. Our country is blessed with large water resources and at the same time we have varied climatic conditions too. So in such circumstances we can use various type of irrigation systems to provide water to the irrigation fields. Some of the commonly used irrigation systems are wells, canal, tank system and river lift systems etc. Wells. So wells are constructed in those regions where sufficient or enough amount of groundwater is available. They are, can be divided into two types, dug wells and tube wells. So the dug wells. In the dug well, the water is collected from the water bearing layer under the ground and this water is lifted up with the help of bullocks or pumps. Now the second type is the tube wells. A tube well taps water from the deeper layers in ground and this water is lifted up with the help of pumps which run with the help of diesel or electricity. Now the second irrigation systems are tank system. So in a tank system, it is basically a small reservoir which catch the runoff of smaller catchment areas. The third system is the canal system. It is usually an elaborate and extensive irrigation system. In this system, the canal receives water from the reservoirs or from the rivers. So the main canal, it is divided into branch canals, which are further divided into distributaries which irrigate the fields. Now the third type of irrigation system is the river lift system. It is a system which is usually used in those areas where the flow of canal is irregular or inadequate due to the improper supply of water. So in such type of system, the water is drawn directly from the rivers for supplementing irrigation. So these were some of the irrigation systems which are commonly used. Now beside these systems, other systems can be used such as drip irrigation and sprinkler system. These days, various fresh initiatives have been taken for increases the water available for the agricultural land. These initiatives are rainwater harvesting and watershed management. So in the rainwater harvesting, the rainwater is collected and it is recycled into the ground with the help of digging canals. And in the watershed management, 
small check dams are built in the areas of watershed region. These check dams, they increase the absorption of water in the ground and they reduces the flow of rainfall to prevent soil erosion. So students, in this lesson, you have learned about the various you know, types of irrigation and you have also seen that new initiatives have also taken to increase the water can, which can be available for agricultural land. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.